Awesome hat. Love the shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm getting in trouble for me not having my shirt. <laughs> you're good to go? You're on record, Tom? Yes, sir. We're so, good. Um, bench arrest shooting is a little different, so you're down here today, and I see the scar on your hand. And Chris, uh, you should introduce you first. All right. So, so Chris, tell us about yourself a little bit. Uh, I was a mechanic for 35 years up in Denver, and over the years developed you know, some great hand strength due to the occupation, and then yeah. uh, also the same occupation, the, the dam damaged uh, oh. what I've got going on. They, they cut this bone, put a plate in here, did carpal tunnel. I've had two surgeries on the thumb, and basically it's like a pincher. So that's uh, my history, just being a mechanic and being a good employee and working well, hard. I can relate, Chris, because I do everything with my hands as a machinist. And I came from a mechanic world and you know started my life and trade as a mechanic and turning wrenches. Right. And I went into automotive machining and came through college as an automotive machinist and you know, and then started machining on engines, fell into aerospace and so it's very much a hand and oh, yes. you know, situation. So And when, when they, they go they, bad it really starts to affect you in all kinds of ways you wasn't expecting. Holding the glass. Oh yeah, holding a dinner plate with food on it. It's a fifty fifty shot, I might drop it. Yeah. 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 We believe a limited mobility or some limitation shouldn't limit you from a full and productive life. And so as you're struggling and learning how to adapt with these hurdles, that, you know, and you're not the only one that goes through this. Right. And so that's good to know. And we all have our uh, limitations, each one of us. Some are more noticeable than others. <laughs> right. And some, and some come back and some go away and they come back worse. And Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, um, so as you're as you're going through these limitations, we we believe a limited mobility should not limit you from a full productive life, and so you can't make those hand grips as well as you used to, and you're learning how to use the other hand and stuff, and and uh, we understand that, and the reason you're out here today is because you were kind of wanting to check out a, the remote trigger, so you don't have to pull that trigger, and uh, that is very difficult even with an AR. Have your hand there, pull that trigger, so. We're going to teach you a little bit about bench rest shooting, and I got a very inexpensive setup going on here. We got about a forty-dollar rear leather bag that is pretty inexpensive, real solid and stable, as you see on the bench here. We got the multi-cal front steady rest, a little different than most uh, shooting that you have done in your life. You're used to manhandling and handling the gun. Your hands here, your hands here. Mm -hmm. You're shouldering the weapon. You acquire a point of aim and you doing what you need to do. Well, this this is actually, uh, a lot of people get into bench rest shooting because it becomes very fun. So some of your shooting you've done before has been real fun as well, but there's a whole new sport out here for you, and you're going to enjoy doing as you start dialing in off the bench here All right. um, and learning how to do some bench rest shooting. You get it more into precision, more precise, more technical, which is all about what you do. It's completely about what you do, um, all the technical side of things. And then you start figuring out which ammo you like and which barrels and guns and right. you know, and it becomes a habit, a hobby, oh, and yeah. Yeah. keeps you keeps <laughs> you productive. I don't know how much you do or don't know, so I'm gonna run you few th through I'm gonna run you through a few pointers and tips that may help you. All right. In the in the bench rest world, um <clears throat> you're not needing to manhandle this gun as much. And uh, five five six, even when you get up to fifty BMG, uh, even some big heavy guns as you as we graduate to the other rifle rests, you can see um, as your guns get bigger, your rest may need to change and your needs may change. Um, but as it has that drag and that absorbing, it's really easy on your shoulder even when you get up to 50 BMG, it's not too bad. Proper muzzle brakes and everything helps with that. So it's a little bit different technique and style. So you really, the less you touch the gun, the better. All right. And so the what we brought out here to demo today is this puff trigger, um, originally designed for your knee. Now obviously it has a foot pedal, um, so we can go to a foot pedal knee, you can go to a push button, or a puff trigger. Um, I find the puff works really well, and this is a brand new straw, but you can, uh, you know, we could even clip it to your shirt, and but you just put it in your mouth and you can acquire your point of aim, you can shoulder the weapon, even if you held the weapon up here, and um, you just blow into the straw and it shoots that gun for you. Okay. So it really eliminates any hand movement. And in bench rest shooting, the less you handle the gun, the better. So um, you're, you're going to want to put your hand here, I would try to say don't. No. 
Um, just You're going to need to find a comfortable position. They recommend both feet under the table, both feet under the gun. You know, this yeah. table's a little uh, low for me and you, right. so you will have to hunch over a little bit. You're wanting it more up here and shoulder and, you know, more of a, a nice fill. So, um, point is though, keep both feet under that table and uh, square up to the gun best you can. Um, I would probably scoop my chair over, put both feet here, square to that gun, fire that point of aim. You may need to move around a few times. There you go, a little lower chair. Oh, right. You may need to move around a few times until Thank you find that comfortable position. And uh, you'll basically just acquire that point of aim and blow through the straw. Got glasses? No. Yeah, we're not going to shoot quite yet. We're okay, just cool. going through some info and techniques. Fine. Thank you for uh, your concern. So, um, <clears throat> what you want to do is with your assist hand, your left hand, you have your fire hand, your dominant hand, which is kind of inoperable kind of at the moment. And so you're not even going to worry about grabbing this and doing that. With your assist hand, um, you can move that bag left or right, and that's how you're going to make those fine adjustments. Okay. And you just literally shift that left, shift that right, um, or left and right. Uh, you could actually uh, drag the bag back or forward, um, and that'll get you your elevation adjustment. Um, and that's really all you're going to have to do. At that point, once you, you have your shoulder on there, and you've acquired I hear that. I a little that movement there, and you kind of got it where you want it to be. Um, I typically keep my shoulder just millimeters from here i feel like i'm touching it but i'm not laying into it you know what i'm saying just touching it knowing it's there right. and so when it recoils it'll just barely you'll, you'll start to feel it so it changes some of the concept of what you're used to doing um as a shooter manhandling the gun and taking control of it mm -hmm. this you're going to let it free recoil it's called free recoil and you're just going to let it do its thing it's not going to come up it's not going to do anything crazy um and but you want to just barely touch that butt stock it is a little awkward you're on a lighter table now but just shoulder that thing you can move that bag left to right where you need it front to back where you need it um we can also adjust this up and down um all bench rests have a front elevation as you gain in your bench stress quality you have an elevation wheel this one has more of a manual lift so for your situation you may want a, uh, an elevation wheel we'll check that one out as we go down go down the line here i have that one here today as well so but this kind of makes bench shooting fun and you'll see a whole industry and a whole trade out of it so you haven't lost anything you just got to adapt to where you want to be and sometimes it opens a whole new world for you you know as they say uh, you, you you lose a hearing your sights get better your sights get kind of how funny how the body will adapt to yeah. overcome it. and uh, but yeah try to uh, you don't have to handle the gun much you just shift your left to right a light touch and blow into the straw all right um, I didn't uh, bring the button could you give me the button for me over there it's curled up in the, in the box Pop that in the port here, and it is. Uh, I'm just going to sit there for a minute, but as a demonstration, so I made the gun ready. It is on. Uh, I cocked it. We verified it's empty. You know. And gun goes off. So it'll do the same thing as you puff through the straw or you use the foot pedal, and uh, we just want to get that on video, and then we ask you what you think about it. Um, if this is too low for you, we can also put these on risers or an ammo box or other stuff we have done in the past as well. Okay. But I think the lower chair, you look about in line now. It'd probably be all right. Yeah. And uh, some set at an angle, some set straight on. Uh, typically, I believe it's preferred to set straight on and, you know, get comfortable. So you have any questions or concerns? Not at this time. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoy it. We're going to get you on this one. We'll move you down. And I think Kurt has come into the picture too. Hi, Kurt. Hey, hey. Come on over. How you doing? Having a rough day. Yeah? I might have to rinse today. I heal out with the pain. <laughs> so gotcha. <laughs> it's too, it's, it's too bad. I'll, I'll leave. Don't no, worry. that's perfectly fine. We appreciate you coming out. Apparently you're doing better than I am. I forgot my shirt. At least you got your able consultants and training shirt. Give me mine. <laughs> shirt off my back. There you go. 
There you go. <coughs> and well, we're out here. We're gonna have a good time. So Jim, you had a few things you wanted to say or go through. Did you hear any of our conversations about how to properly bench press this thing? And yes, I was. How to kind of. I was, listen, I was listening to it, and uh, as usual, everything Ransom International puts out is a great quality product. <laughs> and uh, well, well, you know, people talk about doing things for the shooting sports. Ransom International not only does it for the average person as well as law enforcement. They've also, with the Ransom Automatic Trigger, have now stepped up their game and out there with these products to assist those with physical limitations to get other people who thought they couldn't or wanted to but were meeting roadblocks because of the limitations have now opened up doors to enable people to do that. As the founder and lead instructor for ABLE Consultants and Training, in conjunction with, first off, I'd like to give a shout out and props to Gina Pecoraro and John Stankowitz of Accomplished Training, who have encouraged and supported me throughout this whole yes. gig from its inception here out in Chino Valley, Arizona. Mike Canfield, specifically with Ransom International and his deal, has stepped up the game and opened up other doors. Also, a close and personal friend, Kurt Nelson of Wheelchair Weaponry. Also included, but not here today, I'd like to give a shout out to Rob Leahy and the crew at yes. Simply, Rugged Holsters. Simply Rugged Holsters. As a above knee amputee, yes. you run into different issues, as with people who have other limitations, you run into issues with different types of gear or even day to day clothing and shoes. Rob and his crew were able to work with me since I have a full length prosthetic here and able to tailor my holster as well as the mount to me as an amputee and a major shout out to them and other people in this industry has really stepped up the game as time goes on. Thank you very much. Absolutely and they have been phenomenal over there with catering to all our needs and all our holster needs and yes, yes. All, all the weird ones you know they normally are very um, understanding they answer the phone they answer those questions and well they talk they, you know, they talk to you and like yourself and others, such as Kurt and John and Gina here, they listen. That's they don't they don't give you lip service and go, yeah, okay, no. When you talk to them, right, they'll listen to you and they'll also touch base with you again and go, okay, this is where we're at on here. We'd like to get together with you and fit this and see what it is before we do the finished product. And that is really, really helpful and other people should be aware of what's available out there and if not, Contact me at Able Consultants and Training, Compass Training, Ransom International, and we will help you get set up for your special needs as yeah. to each individual shooter. And wheelchair weaponry. Wheelchair, especially wheelchair, wheelchair weaponry. weaponry. I have seen his YouTube videos, and, and you've been in my shop numerous times, and we have worked together for, man, it seems like four or five years, five years now, I think, they seem to think. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's been a pleasure. So if your gun doesn't work, I'll fix it. It's that simple. Yeah, and I've enjoyed some of the videos you made. You don't you don't do them often. I haven't been for me. No, but you're well, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult for us to do them as well. When you're busy making the parts, it's difficult to <laughs> make the videos or you know. And one of the yeah, caters to the show and tell. None of us are good at bragging. Right. You know? Your <laughs> editing is perfect. It's really well, good. Thank you, because to me it's a piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I have an issue with some of the people that are in it, but also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. also one other thing is major, major shout out here to Chris, who has volunteered his time yes. today with some of the issues he has to be willing to come out and try out some of these products. So we have demos. We've already done it with the handguns. This is the long ones. This is a different part here. And again, just because you have two hands and two legs doesn't mean you don't have an issue with some sort of physical limitation that can't be seen. People yeah. make fun of, oh, he looks pretty good. He's got a handicap sticker. He's walking and nobody knows what's an issue with him. And again, keeping the shooting sports in general door open to anyone and everyone who wants to come out and enjoy it just as a hobby for plinking for defense and personal defense or even competition. We at Able Consultants and Training as well as Compass Training in conjunction with Ransom International, people such as Kurt at Wheelchair Weaponry are here to assist you anytime we can. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And it's nice to not be treated like a peon or you're not so <laughs> right. practical as 
I am or you don't know what I know and every everybody is treated we all, equally. Yeah, we all started somewhere. Yeah, exactly. And we're all currently somewhere. Yeah. We're all currently in different levels of our experience. And it's still um, moving along. Yeah, it's still, still moving around. For eighty years. <laughs> yeah. So well, fabulous and um, I'm glad you all shared your time as well. Oh, as yeah, all Thank you, Chris, and I enjoyed talking to you, and we're going to John put you out in a minute or two. Kurt, no, we got Joe Weapon. We got, uh, we got a Ruger 556 that we've had quite some time. Obviously, we're down the road from Ruger, and uh, Ruger comes down here quite yeah, a bit at yeah, Compass. Yes. Yeah, and we do a lot of stuff for Ruger as well as Ransom. Uh, Chuck Ransom and Bill Ruger were close friends as well, and so... Um, We've had this 556 five, in-house uh, for a while since uh, Michael Scoggins, and uh, God rest his soul, too. So, same with Bill Ruger and Chuck Ransom. <laughs> so, uh, so that one's out here giving some honor to them. We have an old uh, Marlin Model 60, uh, 1960 to uh, 1980 version. This is the actual 18-round magazine tube that's sought after. That's a 1960s Marlin tw uh, 22. So with that barrel. Yeah, a little different. With the micro group. And then we'll probably pull out the uh, a precision six millimeter Creedmoor rifle and uh, have some fun. We did bring um, some Tannerite to shoot at if we wanted to. Last weekend, the Rimfire Tannerite wouldn't go off to the life of us. So, and so we're going to see if it's because it wasn't in a long barrel, if the short handgun wouldn't set it off versus the long barrel. But we just seem to think it needs the higher velocity. So. That brings you up to that. It is a 20 um, There is a fire ban in place. Yeah. I have seen fire started by Tanner. Right oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Th thankfully, both of us are on the fire response team here. <laughs> yeah, that would be a yeah. sign to see. <laughs> and seriously, Char, I didn't bring my act shirts. You guys are, those are hot. I love the flag on the sleeve. That, that was done by my sister back east who has a nice t-shirt printing business and shout out to my sister Mary Ellen and the rest of the crew there you go now um wheelchair weaponry will be the first to let you know uh, these are gunsmithable uh, your ARs they have a uh, larger charging handles all kinds of stuff to help litigate any any problems like that obviously today uh we'll rack it for you and get her ready um and you'll puff through the hose and send her off um we'll also do a 1022 and the other one I'd like to get Kurt um so typically you will up to one of these benches because you can't get your feet quite underneath the concrete bench. Is that correct? No. No, uh, the opposite? So, right so first of all, these are not as stable as the concrete bench. Oh, absolutely. We and agree. John Stankowitz, God bless him, uh, on a couple of them down there, he removed that cross brace. Nice. So that I can get in between. That's what um, we want to get to. Okay. Close in if I could have anything I wanted, I would want a solid concrete bench shaped like this. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. That that would work for me so well. But uh, I, I deal with what is here. Because that would allow you to better mm -hmm. shoulder this and yep. get that done. But the problem with these is they just uh, they, they give a little too much. Uh, when, when you're looking for that absolute you know, test with mechanical accuracy on the gun. <laughs> you can't be on the sponge. So. You really can't, and we try to tell people that as well. I mean, the platform of your base is very important, and <clears throat> so our rule of thumb to elaborate on that, our rule of thumb would hit it with the palm of your hand. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> yeah. um, as I hit this one with the palm of my hand, it wiggles <coughs> quite a bit. Now, the, the, the that's not the end of the world. If you're dealing with a three and a quarter inch barrel, because the time it takes things to travel down into this bench, you know, but if you're dealing with a 16, 18, 21, 22 inch barrel, you will absolutely deviate that round as it's traveling through. Things happen so quick, and that's going to start vibrating and deviating that round. The harmonic well, in there, right? I'll put it in slightly different terms. The, the Ransom Rest was designed to take the human element out of it so that you can test the mechanical accuracy of the gun. It's solid, it's rugged, it's beefy, it doesn't move. I wouldn't dream of clamping that solid no. machine down to... No, uh, but even when it comes into the bench rest, you know, even when you do the front and rear bench rest, which was designed around competition rules, right? it must be separate, this, that, and the other, I wouldn't take that and put it on that wiggly bench. No. You will deviate that route. Yeah. But this is also why inexpensive 
rifle rests have lasted so long and, and there is a good buy. You know, why would you take a four hundred and fifty dollar or five hundred dollar ransom rest and put it on a weekly table or a rubber made table out in the back forty? You wouldn't. Hey guys so do it every weekend. That's where your that's where your multi cal should come in, or that's <coughs> where those inexpensive ones that look like ours that yeah, are imported, ridiculous. you know, and they, they buy those ones and put them on that little wobbly table. And then they're wondering why they're not very accurate or it's not duplicatable or they're not shooting like the big guys. Yeah, but they got a free pleasure holster with it. <laughs> they got a free pleasure holster with it. So that's kind of where we're at. So um, I was curious on your bench. Um, so we may move to one of those bench. You said John Stankowitz over at Compass Training Center hooked us up with. Uh, yeah, and, it's uh, uh, um, the, the first two concrete benches. That one that Jim's at right there, and then the next one we're both set up that way. Yeah. And um, we can we brought a couple of these down for you, and we'll figure out which one works. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So um, let's get these out of the way. Let's see if he can shoulder this. And what are your thoughts? Would, do you have a preference? You want to start with a 22 or a 556 five, today, or do you care? I'm okay with this. I figured everybody likes the black guns. <laughs> yeah, those scary ones, right? Yeah, everyone likes the scary ones. Which one? Magazines and ammo, Tom? I'll go look. Um, I have magazines. Yeah. These two fill Not those kind of magazines. No, you keep those in the back. <laughs> Not those kinds of magazines. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have any, I got to mag it somehow. Okay. Puff Send away, it. baby. Yeah. The only one that's a new target is the center. Put her a little more on your shoulder. Yeah, scoot into it if you can. Shoulder it and then just hug that bag. Yep, just like that. That's better. That's it. Oh, over the top, he could. You can. Yeah, and like Tom was saying, if you felt comfortable, you can bring this hand over the top, hold down on it if you want. Yeah. But I typically just hug that bag, move it around. Yeah. He's the one that said it. I like that better. There you go. A little more stable for you. Mm hmm. There you have it. Yeah, it looks like you might have hit that center. Yeah. Does it feel like a delay or anything when you blow on it? No. Yeah, it's like right away. I like it. Yeah. And I like moving up here. That was better. That was a little more robust for well, you. Well, I still have some working in these fingers but yeah so that that helped everybody good yes sir yeah and that kept it a little more stable for you and yeah it did felt a little more stable yeah we can shoot that more if you like but you can rack it and go again but let's uh move to that 22 see if we can get a couple shots off you on that one all right sir just to keep things moving along and hopefully kurt will come to kurt leave no he's there well, we should set up the. I'll go and uh, one of them over on his, and I brought another hose for him. I'll have to dig that up. Hello, Mateo. Firearms and a special arrow. And a Winchester arrow. Winchester arrow. I love it. Add that on. Do some headaches. I got it on video. Really? <laughs> El Santo <laughs> Domingo in Greedy Colorado, Discoteca, Mira Mira, Mujeres Shooting Free. I'm not going to post it. Don't know what he's saying. <laughs> I get in trouble. You know what he just called you? <laughs> oh, I, I gave you an advertisement, but it's an old Barlin, so it has issues with it sometimes. Sometimes it does. Should be the same concept, my friend. Yes, sir. It is hot and heavy. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Nice. Way go this out. <laughs> I think you might be right. 
Voilà, espagnol, mais quand de nous, mais de dos. Bonfire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was it. Yeah. That's empty. That went pretty fast. No delay on the trigger or anything, huh? No. Very happy. And what you said before, this really helps because your hand pull, huh? Yeah. I don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Like in this case right here, I don't have a pistol grip. So I would have to hold it like this and I wouldn't be able to clench very well on yeah this stock mm -hmm. the way that it is a pistol grip stock like that i could actually probably get my finger on the trigger but this one i would have a much harder time much harder time yep. in this way just as a bench rest you just being able to hold it i shift can hold it back and yeah shift her around and she does what you need right yeah. off the multi well, don't worry about it it just goes very nice very nice very cool well let's see where kurt's at and we'd like to get I'm so you got a minute chris yeah, and yeah. since you're done, you mind coming over? Go ahead and hit record. You're on record. I just Appreciate hit it. Yeah. It. Um, but oh, yeah, no, Chris. stay stay in the video, Kurt, if that's okay. And uh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah, we're done. Yeah, don't worry about that. No, that won't be on there. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. So, come on in here. Squeeze on in. So, um, appreciate you guys coming out today. And I know you were gonna get on this today, but you're just not feeling it today. And so we'll get together another time. Thank you. Those are the those are the things we deal with. And you got us all on video, sir? Am I okay? Yeah, I got you all. I got you all. Hello? <laughs> no, you're, you're all good. We're all good. So, I appreciate everybody coming out, and I appreciate you rolling out here, Kurt. And we're going to get together another time. And uh, me and uh, Jim, with Able Consultant and Training, was speaking about you bringing your tripod. Yes. So let's go. Obviously, ransom rest doesn't manufacture a tripod. Yeah. And you have a tripod. I got a good one. And uh, we're going to use your tripod. Okay. And uh, probably you had a suppressed 1022 as well. So uh, we could use that or we could run something else. Pistol, yeah. yeah. Maybe next time we'll bring some Tannerite. We'll go ahead and set something off. I know we have it this time too, but we're going to call her, uh, we're going to call her good to go. And uh, um, you had something, Tom? I was gonna try this with the. Uh, I wanted to try it with pedal. the pedal. You wanted to? Yeah. Oh, he Absolutely. does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I give you a little. That's all right. More rounds and try it with the pedal. Yeah. Um, that was something I was gonna bring up, so I'm glad you brought it up. Go ahead and bring it up for your time. Thank you. Um, so I was gonna ask you, and I'm glad you were talking to Tom off camera there for a little bit. So you want to try it with the pedal? I was gonna ask you. It seemed like you were very happy with the buffer, and shoot, man, you did some sick, sequential firing there. Boom, 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 boom. Now. Um, you mentioned you were getting it steamy and slobbering in there. Yeah, a little bit. We put a filter in there for that reason. And, uh, but yeah, you have no problem with foot control. Um, you do that. We we were out here with uh, one of your other guys and what, we called him uh, Flinchfoot. He pulled his shot with his foot pedal, right? <laughs> you remember that one? Oh, yeah, you got that. <laughs> you did that one. That was great. No, I can I'll neither, I can neither condone or condemn the actions of other people. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got that on video. But, um, yeah, we called him Flinchfoot because we had him on the foot pedal. And then he's sitting there. He's scooting his foot pedal around. He's got the gun. And he's scooting around. And then he, he goes off and he said he pulled his shot. So they started calling him Flinchfoot. <laughs> I blame the shoes. You blame the shoes. So. Shoe error. That was it's always fun. ammo or something else. It's never, never the person behind the trigger. Yeah. Well, right on. Let's wreck this uh, 22 up again, and you try her with a foot pedal. All right, so that. That's the reason we designed it as well. So, um, for that purpose, there you go. <laughs> Obviously, we use what we make. So, and we do uh, testing and designing pros. I'm so that's why we come out here as well and get that feedback. Well, let's hook you up to the foot pedal. Let's see what's going on. So, that was good stuff. I guess we moved benches on you. Yeah, we brought it over. We were going to hook up with uh, Kurt. And Kurt, if you went out of here, you're free to roll now. We're yeah, he needs to get through here. So. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
see you when you get back. Yep. Best to the family. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. This is the Ransom RAT with the foot pedal actuation, correct? Yeah. Take 96. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. <laughs> I like that. Very cool. Thank you, Chris. Love the shirt. Yeah. I like that.